everyone thank you for stopping by and checking out my disney character merchandise haul i have a decent amount so i'm gonna get right into it <sighs> whoever would have known that shopping can be so exhausting i went in there for only a few pins as always but walked out with more the first item i'm going to show are these jungle book ears i wanted when disney came out with them i wanted them so bad because i loved the jungle book they were 40 dollars in the park i paid 10 dollars for them you have king louis baloo shakara if i'm pronouncing it right Ka. this is all embroidered these leaves are sewn on you have the 100 sign right here you have the fluffy bow I think these are beautiful. Did I just get one? No, I had to get another pair. You never know, someone may ask you if they can have a pair. I have a niece and she's into Disney. She doesn't, the closest place is Paris, which is 10 hour drive. Anyway, I still cannot, I apologize for the background. That's my office slash crafting area. It's a mess back there, but I wanted to sit here. I feel very comfortable in this area. Anyway, I cannot believe I have never seen these being sold for so cheap in a character warehouse. And who do we have? Oh my, it's a new email. It's Nick <laughs> from Satobia. I mean, $2? Did I stop there? No, <laughs> I got two. As I said, my niece, she does collect Disney items, so just in case. Oh, what else did I get? Two bells. I already have a bell, the Dis Family Adventurous. Oops, sorry if I didn't pronounce it right got me a bell a couple of weeks ago, but they're in the middle of moving. But for $2, you can beat it. But the weird thing is, this one doesn't do it. This one moves her head, which I don't mind. I actually like it when they move their head. But once again, I mean, Belle? I would have never thought out of all the princesses that I would find her in a character warehouse for $2. All right. Had to get one more. Miss Picky. I already have Miss Picky. Isn't she adorable? I it's this amazing deal. But at the end, you know, you go in, you say a couple of things, you walk out with a couple of bags and a lot more than you wanted to spend. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's me. I also got a new emo outfit. It was 14, uh, 13 in the park. I got it for $2. I don't know why I didn't get two of those. It's a leather purse. It's a jacket made out of almost velvet. You have a blouse and a velvet skirt. This is really cute. I, a lot of times when I go to the character warehouse, I always get two or three of everything I buy, just in case. All right, I'm going to go on to something a bit bigger, okay? This is awesome. In the, in the park, it was $60. I already took it out of the box. It is Oswald, the Lucky Rabbit. $60 in the park. I paid $25. It's an oil diffuser. It is really cool. It is made out of plastic. Guys, isn't this fantastic? As I said, it's plastic. This is where you put the water and the essential oil. The steam's gonna come out of here. I think this is awesome. I mean, that's like a must have. I don't even know, I wanna use it and I don't want to use it. Would you guys use this or just have it as a display? I want to give it at least a try though let me know in a comment below display or use it i got this salt shaker don't know why i didn't get the pepper shaker this came out for the 
what was it the flower garden festival it was ten dollars i paid five this is most definitely going to be a display it's heavy porcelain they also had the orange bird I get so mad at myself every time I leave this store. Why, why, why did I not get more of this? Moving on to a pin. This is the character on Beret Bray. This collection, I believe it was 2021 or 22. It is Elliot. It was 20 in the park. I paid $9 for it. I love Elliot. I think he's adorable. You got smudges on here. Now, um... It's a limited edition of either 4000 or 4500 I do have a few of these. I don't plan on collecting them, but every time I go there, they have a new one. Now I have Elliot, I have Olaf, I have Aladdin, I have Pinocchio. So why not for that price? This is not a... Co a pin I would normally, I would buy it, but I don't collect anything so. I do love the movie. I think this pin is, I think it's cute and unique looking. This is just a card with some of the scenes of the movie. In the back, you have the artist. I believe that's the artist of the pin, and it tells you a little bit about the artist and the, his signature. It was $18. I paid seven for it. I like this pin a lot and I'm going to keep it. As I was looking at the pin, the cast member came over and asked me if I trade pins because she's like, this is a good deal. It's $5 for each for, I, I bought two, but it's five for one pack. There were 15 in the park. I don't remember the name of the character. If you do, please let me know in a comment below. I remember seeing him. I think he's adorable. So one's for trading and one is for me. I don't really collect anything Mickey Mouse, but I got this. This was 20. I got it for $9. It's a nice size pin, a patch for my backpack. I'm most likely going to be using this for a trade. But I mean, eight, nine dollars for a patch and a pin that size, isn't that amazing? This one is a countdown to your celebration. It's for the 100. It is actually a pin. <laughs> Once again, I don't collect many, but I ten dollars. This was 30 in the park and you can actually write on it. I thought this was really cool. I also do like the box a lot. I am, this pin I'm most definitely going to keep. I just got done watching The Little Mermaid yesterday. This is Ursula from The New Mermaid. It's pin on pin. It was 18 in the bark. I paid $8 for it. I really like it and I like the movie too. It was cool. Now I'm going to show all of you something. I love art. The weirder, the crazier, the better. I have never heard of this artist sled. It was sold in the park for $30. It has the Fab Six on it. It You can collect all six. I love the box. They had Minnie and Daisy. I decided to just get Daisy. As I said, let me know in a comment below what you think of this type of art. It's plastic. It's Miss Daisy. She's holding a flower. There is a roller skate. She's, I don't know what she has around. I guess maybe a bracelet, a pig. I don't know what, what any of that has to do with Miss Daisy, but I love it. I think it's neat. Her eyes, those eyelashes, that amazing. I love those duck lips. Isn't she adorable? Did I say 30 in the park? I paid 15. A couple more pins. Here we have Clarabelle. I don't remember his name. This is Rubber. It was 30 in the park for this set. I paid 13 for it. 
I am going to keep those. I think they're neat, especially with her cowbell. So I thought, yeah, a good deal for two pins. I have never seen this collection before. I It must have came out this year, Dancing Characters. It was 20 in the park. I paid eight. It is of the Queen of Hearts. Her head does move. It's also a stand, which is really cool. I'm going to have to see. I'm sure it's a collection, so I'm going to go do some research and see what other characters there are out there. Moving on to the last item, which is a sketchbook ornament. I love Nightmare Before Christmas. I'm not really into these three characters, but I love the way the vintage look of the cage, the rustic look. And I looked up the names. I'm horrible with names. Um, Chalk, Pear, Barrel. I, I don't remember. Sorry, everyone. I, I do like the way the characters look, though. I think they're cool. I think this is a cool ornament. I'm going to put this next to my Sally and check Chim Shore. I paid $8. It was $26 in the park. So I love it. All right, everyone. That wraps up my haul. As always, let me know in a comment below what you think of Miss Daisy. Oswald any of the items I got let me know if you have them thank you so much for stopping by and checking out my haul I appreciate all of you everyone until the next video take care of yourself see you then ciao ciao